Let's have a look at how crews work across the end-to-end -end service management lifecycle within IFS Cloud. Crews are managed as a distinct resource type within IFS Cloud. For crew resources, administrators can define the period of time that the crew will be active, along with the crew leader and all crew members. Leader and member deviations allow you to define periods of time in which the normal leader will be replaced, when normal crew members will not be part of the crew, or when additional resources will be added to the crew on a temporary basis. Unique costs and skills which are associated with the crew can also be defined. When crews are needed to perform routine service work, those crew resource demands can be defined on the standard tasks and service catalog offerings, which define the standard service work that your service organization offers. When new service requests are created and scope is added to those requests through the service catalog, any resource demands from the selected service catalog items will be inherited to the new work tasks. If non-standard work is being performed, then those crew resource demands can be added to work tasks in a manual ad hoc basis. When dispatchers plan and dispatch work using the dispatch console, they have full visibility of the crews that are available to schedule work too, along with the crew resource demands that exist for the work that they are scheduling. Resources that are part of a crew are clearly marked as such, which informs dispatchers that those resources are working as members of a crew and unavailable for individual work assignments. Assigning work to a crew is as easy as dragging the job onto an open slot on the crew's schedule. If automated dynamic scheduling is being used, then all crew resource demands and constraints are honored by the scheduling engine and work will be assigned to a crew which meets all other requirements and that has availability within the job's SLA. Once the crew-based work has been assigned and dispatched to the appropriate crew, crew members can view and execute the assigned work within mobile work order. In mobile work order, Technicians are able to easily view the other technicians who are members of their crew and see who is the crew's leader. Here, crew leaders also have the ability to modify the crew composition directly from the mobile work order application. This includes adding, removing, and replacing individual crew members, as well as handing over leadership for the crew. This allows them to record real-time changes to the crew composition so that it can be accurately represented in the work that is being executed. When viewing work assignments within mobile work order, it is easy for technicians to determine which of their assignments require a crew to perform the work. Crew-based work is executed just like any other work in mobile work order with additional safeguards to ensure that duplicate work is not recorded and that conflicting state changes are not made by multiple crew members. This means that only crew leaders can perform certain actions for the work that is being executed. Crew leaders can also record time for the entire crew. This can be done by recording these transactions on either the crew or individual member level. When recorded at the crew level, this indicates that the entire crew worked for the recorded time. When the crew-based work is completed, the assignment will be removed from all crew members' devices and the work can be invoiced, closing the end-to-end -end life cycle of the service request.